Welcome to Power Pivot video number three. Hey, if you want to download this file, Power Pivot 301 Replace VLOOKUP with Excel 2013 in Relationships, click on the link below the video. Now, in this video, I'm actually going to show you a trick that I don't think I would ever really use, but some people might find it useful. The trick we're going to learn is how to get both of these tables into the pivot table field list so we can pull fields from both of them and build our report. Our end result here is just I want region by revenue. Now I would, as I showed you in video one, have an extra helper column and use VLOOKUP. It would be totally simple. Look up the sales rep in this table over here, bring the region over, and have one table in the pivot table field list. But I, I'm going to show you this trick because it's pretty cool. And guess what? It's not going to even require that we have Power Pivot. As long as you have Excel 2013, we can indirectly access the data model and relationships. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Before we do that, both tables have to be tables. So I'm going to convert this to a table. Control T, Enter. Instead of going Design and up here to name the table, I'm going to Alt JTA. And that jumps me up here. And I'm going to call this D Sales Rep. Enter. Now we have two Excel tables. If we build a pivot table from either one of these, actually both tables will show up in the field list. So let's just start with this one right here. Look, no power pivot. Where do we go to get pivot tables? Insert pivot table. Or we can use the keyboard Alt and V. Now, it's selected the right table. We're going to put it on a new worksheet. But check this out. Add this data to the data model. Now, guess what? When you buy Excel 2013, it has that columnar database, that X Velocity engine already in it. You may not have the Power Pivot ribbon tab to do lots of the cool things. And we can't build calculated columns and calculated fields because we don't have that Power Pivot ribbon. But we can build relationships and have two tables in our field list. I'm going to click OK. This will bring us to a new sheet. And check this out. I can go over in the Pivot Table field list to All. And there's both tables. Now, one of them has a little black line and the other one doesn't. That means this one's been added to the data model and this one hasn't. But let's check this out. Let's try and pull a field region down to the row area. Oh, well, it looks like it works. But when we try to bring net revenue down to values, it's not going to understand that there's a relationship. And it's as if we get the sum of all the revenue in all the cells. Look at that. It says Create Relationship. We can do this right from the pivot table field list. I'm going to click Create. And here's our table. This is the transaction table. So I'm going to pick Transaction Table. And the column, it says a foreign key. This is where we would actually look up. The lookup value from the transaction table will come from the sales rep column. Now look at this. If you watch video one in this series, when we did Create relationships from the dialog box in Power Pivot. It says related lookup table. Now, really, this is where they need the lookup table. I don't know why they left it out here, but we're going to have to select the lookup table, which is sales rep. And sure enough, it found sales rep. This is the lookup table. This is the transaction table. This is the table where we would have our helper column in Excel. All right, so now I'm going to click OK, and you're not going to believe this. Both of these have been added to the data model. And our relationship is working. And we, without Power Pivot, have pulled fields from two tables and gotten our report, all without VLOOKUP. Now, I would still probably just go ahead and use VLOOKUP. But I don't know. This is pretty cool. No Power Pivot. We still access the data model. Now, I'd like to go over to a different uh, workbook and show you the same scenario, but actually with Power Pivot. So here's our second workbook. You can download Power Pivot 301 Replace VLOOKUP with Power Pivot and Relationships. Now, notice both tables. And I don't have my Power Pivot. If you have Power Pivot, you have the right version. You go down to Options, Add-ins, down to Manage, and you got to go Com Add-ins, and then click Go. 
And it will be there if you have the right version. Click OK. And so there's the Power Pivot ribbon tab. Now, if I were to go over and look right now, this is that second workbook. There's going to be only one data model in each workbook. And uh, it, there'd be nothing there. But I'm going to click in a single cell, go to the Power Pivot, and say Add to Data Model. Boom, it got our table. And there's the linked table name. There's our table. Alt-Tab to get back over here. Click here. The keyboard is Alt-B-Y to add to Data Model. And sure enough, we have our two tables. Now we can come up to Diagram View. We did this in video one, but just in case Let's uh, check this out. We have our two tables. Here's our lookup table or dimension table, and there's our transaction or fact table. I'm simply going to drag sales rep over to sales rep, and boom, that's how we could create a relationship in Power Pivot. If we wanted to right click Edit Relationship, we can see the difference in dialog box table column. Related lookup table, related lookup column. Why didn't they have that over there when we don't have Power Pivot? I don't know. I don't know why they didn't do that. Click OK. Now, if we wanted to create our pivot table, we simply click. It's going to insert it into a new sheet. I'm going to click OK. We have our two tables. They already have the dark line. I'm going to click Region Rows, Transaction Net Revenue. All right, and so in this video, we saw how, yes, if you have Power Pivot, uh, we can go ahead and add our Excel tables into the data model, build a relationship, and then build reports from multiple tables. If we didn't have Power Pivot, if we didn't have Power Pivot, we're going back to our uh, workbook, we didn't have Power Pivot. Uh, we could still build relationships using, as long as our two tables were actual tables, we could add them to our data model and build relationships using the pivot table field list. All right, uh, next video, we're going to look at an array formula and compare it to a function in Power Pivot. And then the following video, we'll finally start a comprehensive example where we'll import from multiple sources, do lots of calculated columns, and calculated field. All right, we'll see you next video.